Okay, the last matrix is finished. Nice. I've disabled the data protection. Access granted. Beginning download of classified data. Oh my. <laughs> I am certainly impressed. After all we went through, that better not be just a bunch of junk data. That would be hilarious. That actually would be sort of hilarious. I also like how Claire's just like, I really don't want to be here. Now let me just finish my job. I doubt it. I don't think they had the time to set us up under these circumstances. But the way they're acting, it's like they don't really care if we get this info. But why? Why go to such lengths to cover things up and then let us learn the truth? The truth about what happened in Heimdall, both on the surface and behind the scenes. <laughs> Simple. Because we already achieved our goals there two weeks ago. I imagine you're on to the next step pretty heavily now. <laughs> it doesn't make the slightest difference if you learn the details. There's no way to change the outcome. Complete. We got it. We secured an escape route. Let's move. Ren, Kia, grab your stuff and start running. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. It was good to see you again, Belle. However, you're the absolute worst. That is a mood. Why, thank you! I wholeheartedly agree. Love you, Ellie. We'll see each other again soon. <laughs> it is telling that Ren was like, one look at you and you're gonna be worse than Weissman. Ah, <sighs> that was quite an entertaining encounter. It's not every day you meet so many interesting people. Though it seemed like there was a touch of drama near the end. I suppose so. It's a bit of a long story. But what's between me and the SSS is none of your concern. Don't worry, it won't stop me from helping with the Great Twilight and the rivalries. Rivalries? Though I'm none too pleased about having to work alongside someone who stole hundreds of years of technology from my family. <laughs> I take it you're talking about the homunculus technology? Well, you don't have any grounds to complain there. After all, where did the technology for your cradle come from? On top of that, your use of septium veins for the Wisdom Project seems suspiciously familiar. Oh, touché! <laughs> Perhaps we make a good team after all. Just there, I don't want to be here! Ah, oh, pardon me. Mm. Lecter? Yes, everything is proceeding as planned. Please keep a close eye on the Bracer HQ and the SSS officers' movements. The Icy Maiden, hmm? She certainly piqued my interest. Despite her title, it's clear she can only just barely hold her feelings in. She's walking a thin tightrope. Well, many events have transpired in such a short time. Events both fateful and final that cannot be undone. Right. You take care too. We'll see about that. I'm sure there's a status quo waiting for us in the end. Uh, I haven't checked my private orb mails in a while. This one is from two weeks ago. about to get crazy busy with work soon, so I figured I should send you this now. It's that picture we took together in Heimdall. I probably should have sent it sooner, but, well, I forgot. Uh, it's from when Reen and Milliam helped me with that undercover operation. Uh... Afterward, we went to go get ice cream together and... I'm not remembering that. Yeah, I'm not remembering that, but okay. Uh, 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 
<laughs> no. Maybe should have wait. Yeah. Adios. You in you decrypt all the data then that quickly. This is what really happened in Heimdall. I can't believe this. They sacrificed a girl to make some sword? And then that Schwarzer guy killed a holy beast with it? And as a result, the Great Twilight began. And the curse of the end spread throughout the Empire. The third survivor of Hamel? So he was alive after all. How could we not have noticed? We left him behind. Looking at all this, it's clear this war won't just be between Erebonia and Calvert. Every country on the entire continent will be pulled in and devoured. Hmm. A lot of crazy stuff happened in Heimdall, but I still believe Tio and Randy are okay. The same for your friends, Tita and Agate. And all of those Class 7 guys, too. Thank you, Kia. Yeah, I know they're just fine. You took another peek at causality, didn't you? I don't know how reliable that is, but it makes me feel a little better. All right, everyone. Now that we have this, we've got a long road ahead of us. Let's get started. Isn't this a familiar sight? The way things are now, war will be in full swing within two months at the latest. If the details about this curse are true, anyway. Yes, I thought it would take at least half a year after conscription started. But if supernatural forces are at work, it may happen much more swiftly. We're gonna go report this info to Guild HQ and the Burl's royal family. How about you guys? We'll share the intel with Calvert and Remiferia. Fortunately, some of our allies happen to be there right now. You mean the Divine Blade of Wind and Yin? We've got our own allies to get in touch with. It's going to be a pain tracking them down. Maybe, but we're gonna find them no matter what. If each of us helps the others out, if we're all a guiding light for each other, we'll be dozens, no, hundreds of times stronger! She is just a little beacon of optimism, isn't she? Couldn't have said it better myself. Yes, you're absolutely right. Is she... she's always been a bit bubbly, but is she just taking a bit too much after Lloyd, maybe? Be each other's guiding light, huh? I like the sound of that. Sounds pretty sappy to me, but I guess I get the idea. That's the right idea for sure, Kia. And I'm proud of you, Ren. If you get it, then that means you've really matured. <laughs> Ugh, cut it out, Estelle. I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, and she has all those memories from when she was a kid, too, that she just looks back on and it's like, ah! And she's still sort of a kid, though. <laughs> <laughs> You'll always be our little sister. Aw, how sweet. <laughs> we can definitely do this. We have to, to protect what matters to each of us. There's no way we're letting this world come to an end. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, it's hard to say what Class 7's next move's going to be. But we'll do whatever we can to be a guiding light for them too.
I'll say this. On my nice OLED TV, that looked really fucking good. I will say, that opening looked so crisp. Uh, I'm going to save and end this particular recording session, but I will be back in a sec, because I'm not done recording, at the very least. Hey, Yuna. Yuna, wake up. <clears throat> Oh, snap. Huh? That doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right at all. Sleeping in class? <laughs> Were you up late last night or something? Would they really have just let Ash come back to school normally? This has to be a dream. Yes. She was reading cookbooks and looking up recipes well past midnight. Oh, Kurt and Allie? Wait, what's with your uniforms? <laughs> you still dreaming or what? I bet she was having a lovely dream about whoever it is she's planning to cook for. Muse and Ash too? Hold on, how are you here, Ash? Didn't you... Yeah, he wasn't even with them at the end, so... Goodness, would you all please simmer down? Class is about to start. We need to snap out of it and focus. Huh? Ada and Fritz? You guys are supposed to be at the main campus. What's going on? Why are you two here? You really are out of it, aren't you? Did you hit your head or something? This has got to be a dream. What? Crown Prince Cedric? It has that, like, aura coming from the outsides, too. What are you doing here? Hmm. Yeah, Drew. Are you serious? Maybe you did hit your head after all. I'm here waiting for class to start. We're classmates now, remember? <sighs> did you seriously forget? The main and branch campuses being merged? All our classes being rearranged? Now that I can believe. This still feels like a dream, though. His Highness, Ada, and Fritz were added to Class 7. Why? But that was two weeks ago. <laughs> They've only been here two weeks, but these scrubs are already acting like they own the place. Watch your mouth. I won't allow you to disrespect His Highness like that. Well, anyway, the fact that we were all at about the same point in the curriculum made things easy. True. The transfer was fairly smooth, all things considered. Huh. <sighs> oh, uh, I guess that rings a bell, now that you mention it. Uh, <laughs> man, I must have just had some crazy dream or something. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I sound like my... Yeah, those two. Huh? Who are they? Oh, they had like a relationship thing going on in Cold Steel, didn't they? Oh, it's been a while. I, I vaguely remember when we were in Rower, right? There's a whole thing about that. Okay, uh, Class 7. Looks like you're all here, so we're going to start with today's announcements. Sorry, everyone. We still don't have a homeroom teacher for you yet. But the two of us are going to support you as much as we can. So please, give it your all. Thank you, Instructor Mary. You as well, Instructor Makarov. Anyway, today's class schedule. First off, we've got applied info processing. You're gonna put numbers in data sheets. Oh god, are they really? That's right. We don't have a homeroom teacher, huh? Uh, shoot, I need to focus on the lesson. Hmm. Those days I spent at Thor's were so warm and fulfilling. Really? Ash and Cedric's... 
Uh... I was surrounded by my friends and classmates. They were all so brilliant and talented, I could barely keep up. Hmm. But together, we all supported each other and pushed each other to grow. Ash and Cedric being there makes me feel as though... It can't be real, can it? Something... It feels off. Hmm. And not just when it came to academics. We gave our clubs and our personal lives everything we had, too. Are they messing with memories? Because there's the whole thing about that girl forgetting the SSS, too. I imagine they wouldn't want to give up good potential soldiers like Yuna and Kurt and them just because they had a little inconvenience like completely disagreeing with the, the movement and whatnot. Hmm. But for some reason, I couldn't shake the feeling something was missing. A voice that guided us. One that was calm, but carrying way too many burdens. It was a little pushy from time to time, but you could feel the kindness behind it. The voice of someone who had gone through a lot, despite not being much older than us. But whose voice could it have been? I couldn't remember. Where Shirley then? Wasn't she? Didn't she like show up as part of this at the beginning, as well? Hmm. Yuna, your mind seems to be elsewhere today. Are you worried about something? Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. You know, you've really grown up, Allie. You never would have picked up on something like this back when you first came here. Mm hmm. Understanding such emotional in uh, intricacies has taken a great amount of effort. But I owe much of what I learned to you and, um... Allie? Wait, you too? Me too, what? Oh my god. that picture on her desk. Did they remove any pictures? Was there a picture we actually took together at some point? Oh, I'm trying to remember. I joined Thor's branch campus as part of my work with the intelligence division. And then I... I met him again. Da-da-da. Getting to it quickly, at least. I've got a plan. Let's get out of here, Allie. Hmm? Where are we going? We're not going to feel any better staring at these four walls. We have to stick to the dorms with how late it is, but I think there's enough fresh air out there to clear our heads. Why don't we go and chat with Kurt and the others? They shouldn't be asleep yet. Okay. I come with you. Alright, let's go. Hmm. I did complete all their stuff. Imagine if it had something where... Oh <laughs> my god, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the newest thing is that... Was this in Cold Steel 3? If it was, I never had it on because it's not good. It's way too up close for the environment and whatnot. Nope, can't open any menus. Fine. Let's look for Kurt first. Maybe he's in his room. We should check to be sure. It's at the far end of the hall. 
This is Musée in Ada's room. Hmm, something doesn't seem right. It was she was with Tita before. Oh, did how are they making okay, so so obviously something happened with Irene and them. Are they just removing people that have significant connections to resistance from people's minds? That includes Tita. Nah, okay, it's not letting me go anywhere else either. Cedric and Kurt. Oh my goodness, who was he with before? It wasn't anyone notable, right? Or like, it wasn't like a name or a, uh, a character with like art and significant story presence. Doesn't seem to be in his room, must have gone somewhere. I don't think he'd leave the dorms this late at night looking for him. There's a study room over there, or he's... no. Downstairs. Oh, that sounds like... Aha! He's in the training room. Yes. Maybe this is just me, but it feels like the music has been really quiet, because I initially went and set it to a, a lower level, because typically you want the voices to be more pronounced for Let's Plays and whatnot. Uh, so I can talk over stuff and whatnot, and have it around the same volume as the voices and still have those be uh, very significant, but it feels quieter than I remember having for ha! games in the past. Strike! <sighs> <laughs> Looking good, Kurt! Your swordsmanship is as fluid as ever. Oh, Yuna, Matsuna. What are you two doing out so late? We're just out to get some fresh air. What's up with you, Kurt? Don't you normally practice in the morning? Normally, yes. As for tonight, I just had the urge to train for some reason. Feels like I'm so close to reaching a breakthrough, but something's standing in my way. Well, I could speak with him at a time like this. They're coming back to those... They're not doing a good job of wiping people out of people's memories in this case. How about you tag along with us, then? You can keep us company in our travels for the night. I'm not so sure. Are you planning on going out around town at this hour? Ah, uh, there won't be a lot of point, but with all the shops being closed. Not to mention, we've been locked in for a long time. Guys, do you remember who's in charge of us before? You know, our homeroom teacher. Um... You mean someone who should have been looking out for us even before Ash and Musei joined the group. Someone who filled that gap for three months before His Highness and the others arrived two weeks ago. Was it only three months? Man, that was a short time. Maybe I shouldn't be getting so worked up over this, but I have to know. I just have to for some reason. You know. Okay, then. I'll come with you as part of my cooldown. Now that I think of it, how long have we been wearing these uniforms? What about the other instructors? I can't remember who's in charge of military finance or combat tactics, or even our principal's name. Hmm, interesting. Who was in charge of those? <laughs> uh, oh, Randy for one of them. Okay, that makes sense. So who's, who's military finance? Oh, Toa, right. Toa. Yeah, oh my god, they just took away the the entire staff of someone. Okay. They can't do any... Oh, wow, okay. Well, the only way to make up for losing something is trying to track it back down. If it really is worthwhile, there's no way we can't find it. The instructor's room should be on the third floor. Let's investigate. Oh, they they would have handled that by now, right? Hmm. There's a lot of a little additional options. No one's here. I guess everyone else has already hit the hay. Most likely, yes. Ah, you're here. I haven't seen any. All right, so there's no names on these other ones. Hmm. Well, I'm here. Hello. Me say, Ada. Wait, since when you have you two shared a room? <sighs> you know how many times have you been in here to hang out now? I know we went over this in homeroom already, but you really do need to get used to us being here. 
<laughs> She's right. I understand the last two weeks have been pretty hectic. But things have changed. And you're going to have to accept that sooner or later. That is true. I'm surprised whatever's happening still has Musei involved, considering how she seems to be devising some plan at the end of uh, the last game. Well, it's not as though we dislike the main campus students. Anyway, it's getting late. You probably shouldn't be wandering around the dorms at this hour. Unless, of course, you would like to stay for some maidenly discussion of my favorite genre. Uh, uh, Ada's agreed to join the literature club, and I'm sure she can bring some daring new ideas to the table. You say, do I need to remind you that there is currently a boy in here? And besides, I haven't yet approved this literature you want to bring forward. <laughs> That's our Musei. Musei should have the strongest memories of Rain, shouldn't she? I wonder how the rest of the literature club will react. Oh, I'm sure Tatiana will be thrilled, at least. I imagine Ash is in for quite a shock, though. He'll be the model. <laughs> it won't even be literature anymore, it'll just be drawings. Oh, Ash. Oh, Kurt. Oh, Ash. Oh, Kurt. I don't know where I'm going with that. A setting late into the night again, your highness. Oh, that reminds me. You were invited to the tea ceremony club today, right? That's right. And afterward, you showed, uh, you joined the swimming club for some exercise. That's a pretty packed schedule. And don't you think you deserve some time just to yourself? <laughs> some time to myself, you say? Despite how things may seem, I felt much less exhausted here than at the main campus. All of these club activities really helped me unwind. I'm more concerned for all of you. Is it about time you started studying in earnest? I'm sure it would do you some good. <laughs> nah. Can you quit being a jerk for like two seconds? Yuna, you need to be careful what you say. Now, now, it's all right. After everything we've been through, I don't take it for uh, I don't take it for an insult. And good, there's no need to waste your energy on uh, worrying about me. I assure you. In fact, I hope you're in peak condition for our morning training tomorrow. Of course. Hmm. Interesting. I, I told you, I don't want it. I'm not interested. Ah, come on. Don't be such a prude. It's good stuff. Tatiana wrote it. Ash, Fritz, dare I ask what's going on? It, it's nothing, really, I assure you. I browse here and wanted to take a look at my girly mag. Nice guy that I am. I said I'd loan it to him, but... I asked no such thing. This was all a misunderstanding from the very start. I saw it left out on top of your desk and wondered what it was, that's all. I'd appreciate it if you stopped trying to force it onto me. Ah, <sighs> boys, am I right? They're irredeemable. Please don't lump us all together like that. I'm glad you seem to be feeling okay, at least, Ash. Remarkably, I feel a slight sense of relief. What the hell's up with all of you? Huh. Anyway, eyebrows sure is hard to handle. I say, though, I'm looking forward to seeing how all this plays out. Interesting. I wonder if he's, like, completely aware and he's, like, faking. I wonder if Musei's doing that, too. Hmm. Or if they even would have the time to bother with that. I've heard you've joined the chess club. Yes, I've learned how to I learned how to play a while ago, so it seemed the perfect fit for me. I especially enjoyed playing against you, Kurt, since we're on a similar level. If only I could do something about Sydney's tendency to lose uh, lose patience and leave whenever he loses. <laughs> well, I understand that. <laughs> well, it's nice uh, you all get along so well. Hmm. Leisurely lax branch campus. If you say so. This remind me, I should follow up. Ada really is stubborn, huh? But between myself and Tatiana, it's only a matter of time until she sees the light. I can't uh, deny your persuasiveness. Hey, Yuna, are you into it? Have you been in, uh, initiated? Okay, I was wondering, she's talking about other people, so at the very least, if there is something with Musei that she's not giving away... This is the third floor. Okay, let's have a look around. All these nameplates are blank. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Most of them were, even down on our floor. Is there even a class 1 through 6 now? Hmm. We did see other students getting off the train at the very least. 
Yeah, all of them are blank. Okay. <laughs> Just make it blank. Why would you scratch it off? Were you that lazy? Oh. This is... This is... It's this room, without a doubt. I've only been here a few times, but I know. It should be empty. Yeah? If they're even the slightest bit of... competent... Oh. A scroll with Eastern writing. They clear everything out of this place, but leave all this. It's even his sword. Is it like an extra that he keeps? Up? There's a fucking picture. Oh my goodness. No, oh, that does look familiar. Instructor Reen. Oh my goodness. Were they actually in a dream, maybe? Was I sort of right? Was it some, like, semblance of their memory still there while everything else was wiped clean? And it's not actually a reflection of... Uh, them being sent to the school and ha trying to be like... Was all of that... a dream? So they weren't brainwashing them, or...? Those strange school days we spent with everyone? It seems so. A shared dream? Wait, you had a dream about that too? Yes, I get the feeling we were all in the same dream together. It surely wasn't there, so... Altina included. Oh, there's also the fact that it was like, oh, it's been two weeks and they hadn't heard anything from the branch campus. <laughs> so unless it had been another two weeks... Oh. <laughs> I'm... I... I remember now. Not surprised by that, though. I was brought to that dark place. The Grawl. I tried to protect everyone. But then Milliam, she... N no I remember now, too. Valimar went berserk. No matter how much we tried to call out to Instructor Reen, we couldn't stop him. Now, Reen, let us begin. Together we shall write the end of this wretched fairy tale. In ink, black as despair. Does that sound different? Chancellor Osborne's words to Instructor Reen are the last thing I remember. I, for some reason, I remember the delivery being different on that, but... But what happened afterward? How did we get here? You're all finally awake! Man, it's about time. <laughs> you had me worried. Oh, great. Hmm? I am here as well. <laughs> Fantastic. Wait, Roselia? You are indeed here, I agree with your assessment. But why? And where are we? Confused, huh? Well, can't blame you. Yeah, just speaking to me right here outside the TV, aren't you? Don't worry, you're safe here. This is my grandmother's atelier. Hmm. It's where I grew up. This is your family home? Did they wake up? Sounds like it. Like, literally everyone else just runs in. <sighs> so I did hear something about something with Laura's voice actor. I guess we'll see soon enough. You're all here. What exactly the situation is. What a relief. I'm glad you're all okay. You really had us worried there. It's nice to finally have a bit of a silver lining after everything that happened. I'd ask if you're all okay, but... 
Where's Musei? She was with us. Where is Musei? Did she head off on her own? No one could blame you after all that's happened. Yeah, that does sound a bit different. I imagine you must be feeling weak and disoriented. You were unconscious for two whole weeks, after all. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Two weeks? Anyway, first thing you need to do now is eat. Even soup is fine, just get something in you. Trust me, I'm just as lost as you are, but we can talk later. That's right, let me go make something for you. Nuh-uh, we're talking now. You need to tell us what the hell happened. I mean, have they not been eating for t whatever? And what in the world's an atelier? There's no way we're still in Heimdall, right? Some style of house, I think. We're probably in the forest, right? Ooh, there's a lot of them. It's not red either, so... Should I recognize that? My, for someone who spent the last two weeks dozing, you certainly are pushy. <sighs> As the elder, I suppose I should explain. We are currently deep in the heart of a pitch black forest. Welcome to the home of the Hexen clan, the hidden village of Aaron. Certainly would be one of the safest places in Erebonia for these guys right now. Maybe that at the very least.